G'day guys, uh, Sir Newt Newt here, back again, bringing the latest and greatest of Pixar's how-to guides. Uh, so today we're, uh, we'll be going through how to, one, find oil, uh, to harvest it effectively, as it is a, probably a mid to late game resource that you will need a lot of. Because uh, all your fabricators, all your electricity, uh, pretty much everything relies on gas later on in the... Later on down the line. Alright, so the oil itself is normally found underground, uh, as you can see. Uh, it's normally in a waterfall type scenario. Uh, you'll normally see it like this underground, in pretty much in every biome. Uh, it is pretty hard to find in some of the other ones, but it is primarily in most of them, from, what I, from my experience. Um, so I'm just going to show you roughly now this looks like a perfectly normal waterfall now this is my normal build that i like to do on my pvp service uh just to make sure that no one else is wrecking your stuff uh, or stealing anything so essentially the way i got it hooked up is just like this so the petroleum pump actually pumps up the petroleum shoots it down and puts it in the petroleum tower now, what you'll normally do is you'll have barrels of oil, which I'll show you just briefly. Petroleum barrels, which are essentially empty petroleum, empty barrels of petroleum um, that when you put them in here, they'll slowly craft over time, right? To make these, you make them in the regular workbench i'm fairly sure off the top of my head yeah so in the regular workbench you make these they're probably some copper and some leather once they're in here they'll get turned into barrels of oil which you can then smelt down to make gas uh, so the normal the one i'll just quickly show you the normal way that i like to do this just the way that's hidden uh, so you, you don't have to mine out these front ones you can really just mine in uh, two blocks uh, or not even that and you can kind of bring this pretty far back as oil does, uh, well, normally, if I hit this one, it'll normally flow backwards, which it doesn't want to do for me right now. So I'm just going to hit that. I'll go one further over. Work, work with me, oil. Anyway, so essentially you place the pump in a way that allows it to still access the oil. So if you see there, it goes blue. And the pipe actually comes out this way. Now it is more ideal to have the pipe going backwards. That way you use less. But you can essentially just hook it up like this. And however you want it to be hooked up. Um, it's completely up to you. But this is just the way I do it. So we hit all these out. Now this is the only reason I'm doing this is because it is PvP. And people don't like you having stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just more as a preventive measure. Uh, and what I normally do is I normally have about, say, 10 of these going at once. Um, I'll fill them all up with the petroleum barrels, the empty ones. And then I will leave them, have the set amount of petroleum barrels in my inventory. And as soon as I get here, I'll take them all and refill it straight away. That way I'm never not producing oil uh, but it's up to you how many you have uh, as it does each petroleum barrel of oil uh, actually gives you two fuel back which is the fairly good exchange rate for the amount of work that you have to do um, and then we just place him down here and boom bam you've got your oil um, so i'll be right back to show you exactly how to Use the oil. Alrighty, welcome back guys. Um, so now that we've got the barrels of oil, uh, you probably will want to know how to make gas. So the, first, the, easy, the earliest way you can make gas is if you've got a smelter, you can go up to it, um, chuck some fire powder in there, light the fire, and then literally, as long as you've got leather in the barrels of oil, craft away, eventually they'll make it. Um, what you can do is, once you've got one of these though, a lot of the times you don't have these later in the game, so you need an industrial smelter, which does the same thing. 
so it just crafts it in there. All right, so now we've got the gas. You probably will know how want to know how to wire up a building. Um, so here I've just got a little bit of a mock base, uh, and I'll just show you how I wire my buildings up. Now this is completely up to you. Uh, the range on a lot of these things is massive, so you can pretty much do what you want with it. Um, so well, let's just put this here. So we've got the generator there, put some fuel in it, turn it on. So now normally what I do is I get some horizontal wires um, that the actual generator itself can come off all four ways. And then I just move it out. Oh, I didn't mean to fall there. And I normally will put a switch on this side and a actual power, what are they called? Junction box, junction box. I'll put a junction box there. Um, the good thing about the junction box is that there's two ways you can do it. So if you wanted to, you could put a junction box here. Um, alternatively, if I can actually fly, you can actually put it on the roof if you wanted to. But the whole thing with that is that these guys are still actually powered. So even though, even though I've just put a little junction box just there, this will still be powered. One thing you can do is if you didn't want to have everything on all the time is you put the electrical switch state there and you put the junction box after it. So what I can do is I can turn that off, that turns this off and now these are unpowered. If I go down, turn them on, this can now get powered. Now the actual range on these is about I want to say about 18 blocks, so it's a big range. And if you've got multiple generators, uh, as you will, because if you have more than the 400 limit, which these normal generators have, as you can see, the remaining time uh, from two bits of fuel is two hours. So one fuel is one hour. So you don't need a lot of fuel. But if you've got multiple jennies, as you might, if you've got a base with 16 turrets, you'll at least have to have four generators just for those turrets. Now something that gets unlocked later in the game is you can have these wind turbines which also supply 800 voltage um, but the only thing with that is obviously it needs to be a windy day to get that. Uh, so once you've got that there you can then go to town placing your fridges, placing your air conditioners uh, and any other things like turrets that you need. So that's that. Um, one thing you probably will be asking me is why I've got all these raptors here. Now this is something that gets unlocked later on, like level 100 in the game, um, but there's, a, there's actually something called a raptor generator. So if I move this over here, it's essentially just a big spin wheel for raptors. Now this does require, it doesn't give you much voltage, so you'd need a heck of a lot of these, which would be really funny to see in a PvP if I broke into someone's base and they had like 10 to 15 of these. Now, you should only need one raptor. Let's capture raptor. Yeah, you only need one raptor. He's in there happy as can be. Um, if I put a little wire coming off here, and that put a junction box. He should start running. Maybe I need to turn it on. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's not working. Ah, meat! Of course. That's something I will need. How silly of me. So let's just spawn in like 50. If I put this meat in here... Oh, it's fuel. Right, that makes sense. Put the meat in as fuel and light it. There we go, little raptors going to town, and now this turret should be able to get turned on. Now that takes up 100 of that turret's voltage, so it takes up 100 of the, the powered voltage, so it means it would only have 50 left, which is not very effective at all. And I'd really like to know how much meat this thing actually can go through. But yeah, that's all for today, guys. Um, I'm glad I could show you a bit more about the electricity, just as... 
when I was first starting off, um, it didn't really give, the game doesn't really give you much explanation on a lot of things, especially not finding oil, producing oil, just because of the names, some of the names are really messed up, um, and electricity, like, I didn't know that the junction box would have, have been so far range, and I actually placed tons and tons of them in my PvP base, uh, which was just a waste of resources. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it, um, but I'm not begging you to. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Catch you later.